Is this episode your wake-up call? You're here for a reason. And maybe this episode is going to speak to you. It's going to speak to you deep inside by what I'm about to say next. And you'll know it's you because you're craving freedom, space. You know that there's something missing in your life, but you can't quite put your finger on it. But you know it's not about the material things. It's not about the experiences. It's about something deep inside. That you know there's more to you than meets the eye. And that there's something that you're part of. Something that's bigger than yourself. But you're not sure what. The truth is important to you. You are a truth seeker. But what you have found so far has just kept you distracted in life and hasn't given you what you need yet. Sound familiar? This resonate with you? You're nodding your head? If so, then this episode will be perfect for you. So I'm glad you're here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Paul Shepard, and I'm the host of the Mindset Change Podcast. I'm on a bit of a mission to help as many people as I can transform their mindsets so they can create the life they truly want to live. If you have not yet subscribed, please do by hitting the little plus button in your app, and that way you won't miss out on any other episodes coming your way. I also have an invitation at the end of this episode that you might be interested in. So where are we going with this episode? Well, let me read you a powerful quote by Howard Thurman. He says, There is something in every one of you that waits and listens for the sound of the genuine inside yourself. It is the only true guide you will ever have. And if you cannot hear it, you will all of your life spend your days on the ends of strings that someone else pulls. So let me ask you a question. That's quite direct. Are you still a puppet to your past conditioning? Hmm. It's important to be honest here and become aware of what's dictating the way that you see and experience your world and what's been the cost so far and what will be stolen from you in your life if you continue. But let's be clear about something. The fact that you're even here is evidence of this. You are a truth seeker. There's a part of you determined to find out the truth. And it's such a great intention. But you keep being distracted. You simply haven't found your truth just yet. Now, you might have come across it in theory, but it hasn't triggered just yet what needs to happen for you to begin to wake up. The problem that we all face and that you face is that there are challenges in our culture which are taking up too much of your time and energy. And they do try to kind of stop you from finding out your truth. Not my truth, by the way, not anyone else's, but your truth. But there is an awareness within you, your true self, your consciousness that can hear this. And if you just pause for a moment, you might even become aware of your awareness right now. Become aware of being aware. Almost like you're looking back at yourself. Sensing yourself. You might get tingles, goosebumps, even a small shift of energy inside as you begin to explore and touch gently upon what you really are. And that has been what you have been seeking. This part of you that you're looking for comes to life and you've experienced it in times when you feel so alive, in flow, you're aligned with yourself and life, strange synchronicities and how well life seems to go for you when you're aligned, when you're in touch with yourself. You know that feeling. You also find yourself surrendering to life a bit more, letting go of having to control, 
almost like there's this inner confidence and faith that you're going in the right direction. And you can hear your intuition much more clearly. And you're letting that guide you through your life. And that's the voice Howard Thurman was talking about. But you keep getting lost. You keep getting distracted back into what I call a dream state, where you can just drift through your life, daydreaming your past, daydreaming about your future, so much so that you struggle to remain present. And the present moment is the only moment that ever matters, because the past and the future do not exist. And this battle creates friction. Things seem to feel wrong, go wrong. And instead of going with the flow, you resist the present moment. It's not what you want. You don't think that you're in the right place, that you're the right person. You don't believe you're enough. You don't feel you're safe. So you try to over-control and interfere with the present moment and make it how your ego wants it to be. And that's you dancing on no strings with your conditioning being your puppet master. But in reality, who gave you that conditioning? You probably have many puppet masters pulling on your strings, leaving you to fall into that autopilot trance where you become reactive to life. And you are not meant to be caged. You are not meant to be living in captivity. You are not meant to be living in a comfort zone that's become stagnant. And you're ignoring the rot because you're too scared to step outside into something that's unknown. You know, that intolerance for uncertainty leaves you fearing a future which doesn't even exist, completely ignoring, by the way, that you've always handled what has ever come your way. Yes, you can judge how you've handled something, but you know what? You still managed it, regardless of how your mind perceives it now. You know, our culture, our conditioning pushes you into daydreaming those negative futures and problems which don't even exist and which keep you in that stress survival cycle, which is keeping you over alert for far too long and without decent recovery to heal and feel refreshed. So you slowly begin to burn out. Those goals and dreams that you once had, maybe when you were younger, start to become more distant and forgotten as your mind is pulling you into that reactive dream state that seeks more cheap dopamine-boosting habits, short-term rewards, which so many companies and industries profit from by giving you the tools to numb yourself for that short-term boost of dopamine and to push you back into that dreaming state where you just drift through life. And these companies don't really care about your health. They use this sort of story of moderation, a little bit of something naughty ain't bad for you. But yet they do whatever they can to make these products as addictive and as enticing as possible. Junk food, ultra processed food. I mean, the latest reading on ultra processed food is hideous. And yet it's so prevalent in our diets. Alcohol, probably one of the biggest cons on planet Earth. Somehow, this carcinogenic neurotoxin depressant has become so embedded in our culture that it's classed as not normal to not drink it. Totally bizarre, but hey, that's our world for you at times. Uh, Drugs, TV escapism, social media black holes. I'm hearing a lot about those recently from clients. Gambling, porn. And I think one of the biggest addictions in life is doing too much, constantly being busy and feeling guilty if you even try to rest. I mean, what is going on? And it's very easy to feel addicted to these habits. Those short-term boosts of dopamine feel good. And then they can keep you numbing your pain and leave you dancing on your puppet master's strings like an automaton. And nothing will change, well, not that much, until you give yourself that upgrade. And you can. And the likelihood is you will. Your mind, body, and spirit won't give up. 
no matter how much you're being conditioned to numb yourself and dim your light. Your mind, body and spirit will send a fire alarm signal to knock at your door to get your attention. And that's how we can begin to wake up. That's what woke me up, or my first awakening anyway, was my anxiety, my panic attacks. They were a strong message to wake up and change course, which eventually I did. That signal can come in many ways, by the way. You might find yourself having an increase of negative thoughts, intolerance, anger, anxiety, stress, hopelessness, ill health, depression, old issues just rising up from your past to confront you, imposter syndrome, all sorts of things can rise up to get your attention. And we live in a society where instead of actually dealing with these issues and looking for the message and where they're coming from, we have a tendency to ignore those messages, try to numb them, use lots of hacks to turn down the alarm, but not deal with the actual fire. And the more you ignore them, the louder the alarm will get. I wonder what's been resonating with you so far. I wonder if you're getting signs and signals and alarms being triggered for you to have your awakening, for you to begin to look at your life with all honesty and begin to work out what it is that you truly want and what do you need to do next to help you get you there. Just going back to the health side of things, by the way, it's so crucial to get your health in a good place. And I heard a good quote about this recently. And someone said to me, if you've got ill health, then you're likely to have just one goal. But if you had good health, then you can have many goals. It really is the foundation of everything that's going to happen in your life. To be as healthy as you possibly can within your circumstances. Ill health makes it a struggle to wake up and realize your truth. It can keep you imprisoned inside your mind in that dreaming state. You're going to have to start asking and answering some tough questions, such as the ones listed in my Time to Shine episode last week. You have to be radically honest with which habits you have fallen into that are dumbing you down, dimming your light, switching you off. You know which ones. Ask yourself continually, who am I? Not who your mind says you are. It's an experience. It's a feeling. Who am I? Ask yourself, what is my truth? These are great questions to begin to create a reflection and that energy, that consciousness, your awareness can begin to stir. What limiting beliefs are you believing about yourself and your future which simply cannot be true? What is truly holding you back from creating a life you truly want to live? Maybe you don't even know what that is. And if so, why not? But be clear, remember this. There is a part of you that wants to wake up and live that true life. But it's being caged. It wants out. But it's hidden by a conditioned ego that's dominating your thoughts, your feelings and behaviours and creating your experience of your reality. As I'm speaking to you, your awareness, your consciousness knows what I'm talking about. It's guided you here to listen to this episode. You're still here with me. You haven't switched off because maybe it's your turn to wake up and develop what I call the ultimate mindset. To be awake, to be alive, and to see easily through those illusions that the mind tries to hold you back with, and still holds you back with. I promise you that developing the ultimate mindset is liberating beyond words, and your life will change in ways you cannot imagine. But it does take courage, and it's not for anyone wanting to take things easy and for asleep. Here's a section of dialogue from the very popular movie, The Matrix. 
And it says, I believe that the matrix can remain our cage or it can become our chrysalis. That to be free, you cannot change your cage. You have to change yourself. When I used to look out at this world, all I could see was its edges, its boundaries, its rules and controls, its leaders and laws. But now I see another world, a different world where all things are possible, a world of hope, of peace. I can't tell you how to get there, but I know if you can free your mind, you will find a way. And it's time to free your mind. There is an awakening revolution taking place. And are you going to stay a prisoner? Or are you going to do what you can to liberate yourself, to awaken your mind for freedom? So this topic is very important to me. And I've decided that I'm going to create an inner circle for a group of people who over the next year want to be part of the waking up revolution and to develop their ultimate mindset, to break free from the illusions that have been holding them back and to create the life that they truly want. I wonder what you would be creating and experiencing if you are no longer being held back by your mind. So if you're interested email me from the links in the show notes. I mean, I'm just exploring for the moment to see how many people would like to join me online in a group to develop the ultimate mindset. I think it's really exciting. I'm excited. And this has been a long time coming. In fact, since I woke up, I have realized just by looking at my past that I was always heading in this direction. And I think this is going to be one of the biggest things I've ever done. So if you're interested, email me through the links in the show notes and we can have a chat. It would be really good to hear from you. Before I go, I have a powerful awakening question, which could give you a sense of what I'm talking about. Now, not everyone is going to get this. A lot of people don't. But I wonder if you will. And this question comes from spiritual teacher Locke Kelly. And just to point out, the answer isn't cognitive. It's not a thought or dialogue. It's going to be an experience. It's going to be a feeling. To see what happens before your mind jumps in and tries to tell you something. You ready? What's here right now if there are no problems to solve? What's here right now? if there are no problems to solve. I wonder what you experienced. How did it feel before your mind jumped in? If you didn't feel anything, keep practicing and see what happens from there. Uh, Thank you so much for listening. It's been wonderful to share this content with you. Um, I'm honored that you're here with me on this journey and be proud that you have the type of mindset that is truth seeking, looking for the answers to help you reveal the truth to yourself. And if you like this episode, feel free to share it with someone you think would benefit. Leave me a review in Apple Review or on Spotify. I've been reading them. I can't respond, unfortunately, but thank you so much to everyone who's given me their feedback on what they think of the show and the episodes, etc. Truly is amazing what you're saying. So thank you. I look forward to connecting with you in the very next episode. Have a very wonderful, peaceful, present and awakening of a day. Mm -hmm.